the shoreline of Lago Sarmiento, in Chile's Torres del Paine National Park has been home to many generations of pumas. Lined with outcroppings called thrombolites, this stretch of beach has served as a nursery for puma moms and their kittens over the years. This is Petaka, the mother of Paine and Amarga. Having grown up in this area herself, Petaka teaches her young brood how to navigate the intricate maze of thrombolites. Big males rarely patrol this nursery area. Their food source, the guanaco, feed on grass that grows elsewhere, away from the beach making this stretch of shoreline a safe place for the young cats. Thrombolites form when bacteria from Lago Sarmiento mixes in with the sediments along the beach. Porous but hard to the touch, these formations provide the perfect nursery for the growing pumas. They conceal numerous caverns and passages for the young cats to explore. Secret compartments make them the perfect place to hide a kitten. But even a large cat can disappear in these formations. On this particular afternoon, Amarga is looking for Pine. Petaka had left Paine and Amarga the night before, and she had yet to return. Meanwhile, the cubs had been scouring the shoreline and the hilly area surrounding it, rubbing their scent onto the shrubs and marking the trails in and out of the caves along the beach. There is a happy ending. Pataka returns to the nursery to reunite with her cubs. This echoes the reunion of Pataka and her siblings with her mother Sarmiento several years before. The rocky outcroppings, the shoreline, the thrombolites. Understanding the importance of preserving this nursery is key to encouraging the healthy development of litters of pumas for many years. This is their first home. Conservation practices count here. Recognizing the significance of this unique habitat might just give the pumas the opportunity to thrive for generations to come.